Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. Don't know what it is, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> so, all right, first of all, um, I think I may have kind of screwed up my scheduling of videos. So I think I released 80, episode 82 and 83 on the same day, and I did not mean to do that. So episode 83 is entitled Restoring Deshong Part 1. And it is, it should be published, but there's really, really low views on it compared to all the rest of the videos. And it's probably just because I screwed up with the scheduling. But if, if you haven't seen that episode, which is again, episode 83, Restoring Deshong Part 1, make sure you watch that before you watch this episode because it happened, <clears throat> you know, before this episode happened. So anyways, apologize for that. Sometimes that happens. I, you know, I, I record, I usually record my episodes in advance. I've been doing a, a pretty good you know, fair job of, of keeping up uh, on these episodes, you know, not getting super far ahead. Um, but sometimes I, you know, when I'm scheduling a bunch of pre-recorded episodes, I, I can kind of screw it up. So anyway, hopefully that didn't cause a problem for anybody. And uh, just make sure you do watch that episode before you watch this one, because otherwise you will be out of order chronologically speaking. All right. So anyway, I have spent quite a bit of time off camera after that episode uh, mining resources. So Let's see, in here we have um, almost a thousand more iron ingots that are smelting. Okay, and it's been a couple of days for me in real life too since I've I last played. And nothing's going on in there. Nothing is currently going on in there. And here we have, 
Okay, we have 398 steel plating. I've been making a lot of steel plating. We also have 301 titanium ore. Now, um, the Valkyrie drill tears through titanium like you wouldn't believe. However, you'll notice that I still have the jackhammer also on my toolbar, and that's because the jackhammer is actually faster than the Valkyrie drill for stone. I haven't really tested for ores yet, but for stone, this the jackhammer is still definitely faster than the Valkyrie drill. But for pretty much everything, you know, well, any kind of dirt, sand, um, titanium, that sort of thing, the Valkyrie drill uh, is better. So that's why I have both of those on my toolbar at the moment, and why I have a pretty decent supply of... Uh, titanium as you can see right there okay so that uh, pretty much takes care of that let's go down into the mine and let me just kind of show you what I've done just so you can see that um, I want to actually oh here I've been making stuff in the chemistry bench too let's take a look at that yeah so I've been making gunpowder and more gasoline here in the chem bench and that's exactly what it needs is one minute left. So, yeah, we've got uh, some, some gunpowder made up. And the reason for that, of course, well, we need gunpowder anyways, just generally speaking, right? But um, I've made that so that we can actually make a decent supply of pipe bombs for the Horde Knight. So we only have three iron pipes. Uh, how much gunpowder do I have now? Okay, so we have 3,051. No. 5,051 gunpowder. So we have a nice little supply of gunpowder now, but we do need to get some iron pipes made. So that's going to require... Uh, oh, I guess it does require iron plating. All right, so let's make... Let's make... Let's just make 100 of these. And I'm going to, you know, with this iron, we'll make some more iron plating. Because I always want to have some iron plating on hand because it's used for so many things. So we will con we'll, we'll make a hundred more iron plating out of this, and then the rest of this will probably, or most of the rest of it, I should say, will turn into uh, steel ingots, which will then be turned into steel plating, because we're going to need that to, you know, upgrade the the horde base and that sort of thing. But we don't really need to worry about that until tomorrow, uh, on day 84. So during the day on 84, I will go get the horde base ready to go. Okay, so basically, where does that leave us? I have been. Uh, what have we been doing for concrete? Okay, so we have 89 more concrete there. And if we look in here, we have... Um, we have 672 concrete. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to hang on to 200 of these. And then the rest of these we're going to convert into concrete blocks. Because we need those, of course, to continue working on restoring the Deshaunk Tower. Okay, so all of this fuel is now completed. And, oh, that makes us heavy. So let's put these in here. One of you guys were asking me in the comments if we can make compact pallets of materials in Undead Legacy. Uh, when I saw that comment, I was actually at the office at the time, so I wasn't able to check. But if we go into... Well, in vanilla, that's a that's actually a magazine. I don't know if it is in here or not. Where's the magazines? Magazines are collectibles. So that would be under mining, probably. So where is mining? Do, 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 do. Here, mining. Okay, so as a small chance, you can craft diamond, harvest 10% more, you can blackstrap, basic resources. Yeah, right here, compact stacks. So it is number five in the mining magazine tree. And you can do that, and it looks like I'm actually able to do that, too. So, okay, so that answers that question. I, I thought it probably would, but I didn't want to say for a certainty until I had a chance to, to, to confirm that, you know, on camera here. So, very good. All right, so let's see here. We, are also, we should also be making stone powder in here from all the... So yeah, we've got over 5,000 more stone powder queued up, but this takes a little while. I mean, you, you, there's 107, <laughs> 172 minutes on that. Oh, my goodness, okay. So, you know, the thing that's tough, somewhat tough, to get in Undead Legacy is sand. There is no way that I have found to make sand. Make sand bakes, but you can't make actual sand. 
Um, there's no recipe for it in the, in the cement mixer. There's no recipe for it in the furnace. There wouldn't be in the blacksmith anyways. Uh, did we look? Did I look in the artisan table? That would be on, the only place, other place I can think of that you could potentially make sand. But I don't see it there. Yep, no option for sand. So, um, that, you know, that makes sand extremely valuable. Oh, I know what we're going to do today. Yep, well, at least I know what we're going to start doing. We're going to go to the desert, you guys. We need to go to the desert for a couple of reasons. We want to get sand in the desert. And we're going to bring with us the auger. Okay. Uh, but we all, I also want to get a whole bunch of aloe so we can, you know, make bandages because we're really low on first aid bandages, uh, bandages. So I think that'll be the first, at least the first part of this episode, and then we'll kind of see where we are from there. Now, for those of you who haven't seen, um, I have actually up on the other screen, episode 83, Restoring the Deshong. This is what we did in that episode. So again, if you haven't seen that, stop watching right now and go watch that episode first. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't have to if you don't want to, but uh, we spent um, you know the lion's share of that episode you know getting started with restoring the Deshong and we got you know that floor um, built up as far as you can see there. Now I mentioned too in that episode that I'm gonna start by just getting the the main structure rebuilt, then we'll work on windows and then we'll work on painting, kind of you know more or less in that order. So we're gonna have all the structure built back up the way it needs to be. Um, well, hello there, cat. My cat's down here. Uh, before we worry about wind putting windows in or doing any kind of painting. All right, so that's what happened in that episode. All right, you guys, so let's see. How are we doing on food? We have... Let's take the rest of these hobo stews. I think we'll keep the shepherd's pie in there for now. What can we currently make with what we have on hand? All right. We we know how to make fish tacos. I guess I learned the recipe. Okay, so we can make fish tacos. But we can't make any of the really good stuff. You know, I need to I need to make some decent beverage. We only have 23 golden water uh, golden water. Yeah, we only have 23 golden water. Um let's make some mineral waters with that. That's going to take 5 minutes. Okay, and then let's see. We're going to want to make sure we have gasoline for the auger in particular, so we'll take a couple of cans of gas with us. Is this, uh, where is this at in terms of, oh, it has no gas in it at all. Well, it does now, baby. Um, that used about a third of that, so let's also take this this can here. I don't want to take too many of those because, of course, it gets, um, gets pretty heavy. And the auger could stand to have a little bit of repair, so let's get that done so it's fully repaired. Speaking of which, um, let's do some other repairs too. So that's going to take seven steel. This is going to take two steel. This is going to take one titanium plate. You know, it's not really in that bad of shape though, so let's leave it the way it is for now. That takes two steel. What does this take? Uh, this is going to take one bowstring, which I think we make in here, right? Yep, let's make a bowstring. I made some more firewood, too, as you can see there. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we repaired the crossbow. And, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape in terms of... Re oh, this needs to be repaired, too. Okay, so that's seven uh, steel. Very good. Very, very good. Let's grab some of this mineral water out of here. I'm going to put the normal water back in here. Let's look at the map. So the desert is quite a ways away from us. It's way up here in the northwest. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll probably just kind of cut across the wasteland uh, through up through here and get into the snow biome. And then we'll just kind of follow our, our way up into the desert. We're just going to mine... A metric crap ton of sand and pick aloe. And I'll probably just time lapse that, put some put some groovy tunes on for you guys. And yeah, let's get her done.
All right, guys, we are home safe and sound. Well, I don't know about sound, but safe anyway. <laughs> uh, so let's grab all the stuff out of here. Can we still move? Yeah, we can. And then Roberta's got some stuff in here, her inventory as well. We are going to need to put some more gasoline in the motorcycle. So hopefully I, I will remember to do that before we go out on any lengthy trips. Uh, let's take a bandage because we have an abrasion. And we also have an infection too. Uh, if we can get back to the base before it hits 10%, which we should be able to, we can take an herbal antibiotic and get rid of that. I did gather a little bit of honey uh, along the way. We did some hunting and got some other good stuff too. So let's see. Herbal antibiotics are right here. Ooh, that is the last one we have. Yowzers. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Uh, let's put stuff in here. That is not the button I meant to push. Dad, got it. I put the wrong stuff in the wrong place. All right. Let me fix this. Okay, so we got uh, almost 3,000 sand, which is pretty good. So we'll put all that stuff in there. That can go in there. Let's do a sort. And what else do we got? Plush squirrel. Um, scrap. Doesn't have a recipe associated with it. Uh, we got a book here, and we got a whole mess of yucca fruit, which we will put inside of the... Wait, where are we putting that? Yucky, 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 yucka. That should actually go in here, I think. Uh, let's grab those and those. And we can make another batch of cream with those. And then uh, we have two normal bandages there, but we're going to also want to make some more. Yeah, I know you're having a problem, aren't you? Did we just, didn't we just take that? Yeah, treated mild infection. Okay, so we're good to go there. Let's put uh, the beverage stuff in here. Let's drink one of these mineral waters because we're going to need to. Recipes. We didn't actually get a whole mess of... Um, aloe, but you know, we got a lot of sand, and that was sand and aloe were the two main reasons we went out there. Plus, we got a bunch of meat, too. We got a bunch of meat. Um, so in fact, you're the one that's holding all that, aren't you? Yes, indeed. Look at that. Oh, we have some more aloe from you, too. So let's put uh, yeah, we are uh, we got a lot of meat. My goodness, we have a lot of meat. Okay, uh, we can turn you into one more aloe cream, so let's do that. And then I want to make some honey, which I think we make in here, right? Where do we make honey? Yeah, we make honey in here. Um, let's use... Let's use these for honey. We can make three of those. All right, very good. Now we're just kind of waiting. I guess it takes a long time to scrap that uh, that squirrel thing, man. Okay, so raw materials, those can go in there. Why are the bones not going in there? The bones should be going in there. Now they are. Honeycomb is a medicinal item, so that goes in here. Feathers are an ammunition item, as is that. Let's put the rest of this firewood in here for now. And we have an empty gas can, and I guess I have a few more gas cans than I thought that I did. Okay, so that uh, pretty much takes care of our inventory management. Let's put half of those back in there. And we're in reasonably good shape. Reasonably good shape. So let's eat another one of those to get our food and water all the way topped back off. And all right. So, yeah, we got a whole mess of of sand so that means we want to start making more cement let's grab everything that's currently in there and then we're gonna go over to i'm stuck roberta look out look out roberta uh let's grab a few of these i might actually have some in there already i do okay 
and I want to get a whole bunch of cement going. So a whole bunch, 300. There we go. Uh, that's going to need nine minutes and 58 seconds. There we go. And uh, we'll just keep those in there. All right, what are you doing? You just made a whole mess of iron. Uh, so let's put the iron in there and then transfer it over to here where it's supposed to be. This, I'm assuming we just make into cloth. Wait, what? Recipes. Cloth. Oh, we have to, we need a, oh, you know what? We don't even have a tailor station, do we? Wait, do we? I don't remember. I don't think I ever made a tailor station. We're going to have to make a tailor station. Okay. Not a huge priority, but it's something we should do. Yeah, definitely should do. Okay, now let's go recipes. Oh, now we need cloth, which we should get out of here. <sighs> cloth, 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 cloth. Where the heck is the cloth? It should be in here. Oh, no. Actually, the cloth is going to be in the parts. There we go. I knew I had it. I knew it. I just couldn't see it right off the bat. Recipes. These. Oh, no, no, right. we got to make bandages. So we need to make 14 more regular bandages. No, 14. There we go. And then we can turn all of that stuff into bandage bandages with this aloe cream that we have here. Very good. All right. Now, um, uh, I want to go over here, and I want to... There's our 100 pipes there. That's good. I want to make... How many of these can we make in total? We don't need 482. Let's make, say, 150 of those. And then the rest of our iron ingots, we're going to turn into more steel plating. Uh, or well, into into steel first, and then that will turn into plating. Okay. Let's grab whatever. Uh, well, here, no, just put those in there. We got grass in here. We have gunpowder. Okay, we're gonna go over to the Kim bench. No, the ballistics table. Sorry. Which can't reach. So that means we need these, and we need these, and we need a few stacks of that. Go to the ballistics table. Make a hundred of these for the Horde Knight. Because I think explosives are going to be quite beneficial for us. All right, recipes, turn these into those, and boom, that's done. Beautiful. We're making progress, peeps. We're making progress. Let's take and put the auger back in here. We don't need it for the time being. Put the jackhammer back down here. Now, I want you guys, and I want, I want to put the oil shell in here. But let's take that oil shell and make some more gasoline out of what we currently have. Coal powder. Oh, right. Can't reach it. Grab some coal powder. I will fix that. It's not going to stay that way forever. It's just that way for the moment. Okay. Meaning that, you know, where everything's in range. Yeah, that's where that goes. Okay. Cool. So I think we're caught up. We're in good shape. Our infection is going down. Our abrasion's going down. Our food and water's in good shape. So, what are we doing here? We're making cement, okay, and you're making steel. So, let's go ahead and fin uh, finish the rest of this episode with a little bit more building upgrading. Does that make us too heavy? No, it doesn't. Yeah, because I think that's uh, this is a good, will be a good place for us to do a little bit more building before we wrap things up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to risk busting up my legs, so let's go around this way, and we'll go down the stairs. 
We'll go the safe way. And no, I'm not talking about a grocery store. I'm talking about going safely down the stairs to the floor that we're working on. In case that wasn't clear to you guys. And, oh, not that way. And I also want to check this vending machine. Chicken miso pears. None of that stuff has recipes, so we don't need it. All right, so we left off here. So I think the next step is to get the floor, uh, well, the ceiling from down here and the floor from up there intact, which we sh probably should do from up there. All right, so let's climb back up here. Uh, let's get all of this crap out of the way. I'm going to use the pick for this just because I want to save durability and fuel on my tools. Well, at least for that stuff. Get the crap cleaned up off the floor, too. Um, and all of this stuff's going to have to go once we get the floor in, but... Why don't we jackhammer this stuff? Okay. Little uh, SI going on there. Made a mess on the floor that we cleaned up last time. Oh, that's wood. Is this all wood? No, that's not wood. Some of it's wood, some of it isn't. That's metal, or sorry, stone. Be nice if uh, we did loot this, right? Yeah. If they were different, uh, you know, textures, so we knew which one was which. A little bit laggy here. All right, back up this way. Okay, we got everything on that side. All right, let's grab our concrete blocks. out of here. Oh, we have a few more blocks uh, to do down there, too, I just realized. Okay, so copy block type, or shape, rather, and copy block rotation. don't think we put a block. Yeah, we don't put a block out there. Okay. Now we want to turn this like so, I think, right? Yeah. Wait, is that right? Yes, it is, because we put a full block in this spot. Very good. Okay. Pop the shape. Rotation doesn't really matter there. And then this goes all the way up to there. Roberta, look out. Okay. I think that completes everything down here now. The blocks. So let's go back up this way. Get rid of this. Um, didn't precisely mean for all of that to collapse. That's all wood. Okay, so now the question is, is that supposed to be there as a pillar? 
Probably. Yeah, I'm saying probably it does. Okay. So that means... We want to redo that. Okay. Let's go up to the next level. Since we broke out our ladder, we have to go back up the stairs. Which we can do, no problemo. Just lago. We have lago. No problemos, but we have lago. Um, get out of here. Oh, we can't go through that way, can we? Um, right. Okay, so if we want to be able to get over here from the stairs, we're going to have to bust this open. What is that? That's 10,000 hit points. No thank you. Uh, we could break that block out, I guess. Or we could break through here. I'm not sure exactly what's on the other side of that, though. What's it looking like over through here? Yeah, that's all blocked off, too. Uh, we'll fix this later. All right. Let's break through here. All right, let's do the floor first, then we'll worry about fixing that crap there. All right, we need to do this. Let's go copy shape and copy rotation. And we need to put one here. We need to put one here. Oh, that leg is going to kill me. <laughs> it's going to it's going to send me right over the edge, you guys. You watch. Mark my words, it'll happen. I certainly won't deliberately try and make it happen, but yeah. Okay. So I think we're good to go back to these blocks and finish out the floor. Let's get it done. Okay, that's it for concrete blocks. This is expensive to do, man. You guys might be wondering, why isn't OG just using cheaper like wood blocks to do these floors? The answer is because I've, you know, because this is concrete, right? I mean, especially is this like, is this like, well, it's 500 hit point concrete, but yeah, I mean, that that's what the building's made out of. So we're, we're making it out of what it's, supposed to be made out of and that's the answer whether or not you agree with it is irrelevant because that's the way i'm doing it <laughs> okay yeah be careful on the corners on the edges man all right well um let's break out some more of the destroyed blocks here okay it's going to be easier to get to that stuff from the next floor up. So, yeah, I think that uh, aside from finishing this floor here, oh, you know what? We have some, we have a big hole over here that we can also get the ruined blocks out anyway. Okay, I think that gets all, all of the ruined blocks out of there. So we will patch this up too when the time comes. And, yeah, I think that's probably about all we can do for today until we get more uh, more concrete going, which we are working on. I've got all that cement cooking up. So, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. And uh, I will do some more mining off camera, uh, going after stone in particular. Uh, we do have 300 more cement there, which is great. So let's go ahead and make 300 more concrete mix with that. 
And yeah, so I'll, I'll just keep gathering resources like I have been doing. Oh, I was going to show you guys the mine. Uh, um, let's just take a quick look at that before I let you go. Uh, put that in there. These are parts. So those can go in there. Broken plank goes in there. We were making uh, we were making gasoline in here. We're, oh, I want to. I definitely want to refill the motorcycle and put a couple of cans of gasoline in the, the motorcycle too. All right. So we have three honeys. In fact, I'm going to actually keep those with me. I think we will do that. Um. All right. So we have 18 bandages now. So that's good. You are. You need more wood to finish that up. And then we're going to convert pretty much all of those to steel plating. We have 150 iron plating here, which is great. We'll put those back in here where they belong. And it is also day 84. So that means, actually, in the next episode, we will go um, repair and reinforce the horde base. One of the things that I want to do is I want to have a double hatch so that I don't do the same thing that I did last time and accidentally open that daggone hatch and screw myself royally. So we're going to put another hatch down. We're going to fully upgrade it, get everything, all of that repaired. But otherwise, other than that, okay, talk. Other than that, we're going to pretty much do things the same way we did the last time, except for we're going to have 100 pipe bombs in addition to everything else. I think we're sitting pretty darn good on ammunition. Uh, actually, no. You know what? We're going to need to make some 7.62s, which we should be able to do. I got plenty of bullet casings. I don't have plenty of bullet tips, though, do I? Um, where the heck did they go? Oh, no, we don't. Um, do I have lead? Not a ton. Well, we have some scrap lead there. Okay, yeah, we need to make some bullet tips. Yo. Here, let's grab these and put them over. Well, actually, you know what? We're turning all of those into plating, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just do that. I don't have to put them away because we're going to consume all of them here. Or at least most of them. Yep. Okay, so bullet tips we make in here, right? I believe... Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, ballistics table, no. Oh, we got lots of lead ingots. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's, um, how many of these can we make? 84? No, don't pin that. Uh, so turn that on. Blacksmith's forge. Oh, in here. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes us 840, but you know what? We should probably smelt some lead, though, too, because we need some more lead. So that's... Oh, I was going to say, what What the heck? Yeah, so let's do that, and let's do this. And let's see, we need... Oh, yeah. We got tons of burn time. In fact, we only actually need that much burn time. There. Okay. So between what I've queued up here and the rest of this lead, once we make it, we might actually have to go lead mining. That's not something I usually have to do too much because we usually have an abundance of it. But yeah, uh, we're going to want to make some more 7.62s. How are we doing on shotties? We have 92 and 98. We might want to make some more shotgun shells too. We got plenty of gunpowder here we got plenty of casings uh what about yeah we have 925 buckshot so we're in good shape on that stuff too so why don't we do that why don't we get some shotgun shells queued up oh crap i keep forgetting it doesn't reach grab this grab a stack of that what else do we need for shotgun shells in udl i can't remember paper and plastic sounds like grocery store uh, there's our pipe bombs i'm just gonna leave those there for now Um, eyeballs, plastic. Oh, no, we have that in parts. Eyeballs can't see plastic if they're not in the case or the crate that you're looking for. It. Here we go. Look at that. Plastic 
and paper. Lovely. Not the chemistry station. All right, how many of these do we want to make? 250? I think we want to make 250. Let's do it. Put that stuff back in there. Okay, so yeah, once the uh, the bullets are made, I'll make some 7.62s. We got the pipe bombs, and then we're fine on ammunition for the Horde Knight. So yeah, next episode, guys, we will go get the Horde base repaired, and depending upon how time goes, we might actually even do the Horde Knight in the next episode, too. So that is the plan, Stan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we will catch you all in the next episode. Ciao!